podcast and more information. Four times a day, seven days a week. It's where we live. It's who we are. We're CTV News. Closed captioning of this program is brought to you by Quiet Nights, the brand new album from Diana Krall, available now. You know, I raised you when Robert Nana couldn't, and it was an honor. And I've watched you face terrible situations with grace and honor. I know how strong you are. But you're not strong enough to overcome postpartum depression alone. Robin, you need to get help. You know, you need to commit to treatment before the postpartum depression does more damage to you and the people who want to help you. Robin. We have been good friends for a long time. I miss you. I miss Jake's and taking those power walks in the park. I miss the good friend who I could always depend on to listen. A friend who saw me through some pretty dark midnights on the night shift. All mothers make mistakes. That accident today with Emma's carriage on the stairs could have happened to anyone. But it happened to you after you stopped taking your antidepressants. Mm -hmm. Refusing to take your meds was a completely irresponsible choice. You're a doctor, so I know you know better. Like your uncle said, you need to commit to treatment. If not for your friend's sake, then for Emma's. I don't know you as well as everyone else does in this room. But you were the first person to reach out to me when everyone found out that I was Patrick's brother. I, I was the best man at your wedding. I've seen how much you love Patrick and Emma, and they love you the same. And they need you to get treatment for this illness. Postpartum depression, it's it's treatable. It's just, just get the treatment. Please. Johnny, I'm glad you're here. I didn't know where to go. I had the worst fight with Robin. She said I was a horrible, messed up person. No, you're not. Look, I'm not going to make this about Sonny. He has no right to barge in here and tell you to terminate the pregnancy. You were about to demand the same thing. Well, I think it's a decision that should stay between us. I've already made my decision. I'm going to carry this baby to term. Well, there are medical reasons for you to terminate this pregnancy that we can't ignore. 50-50 odds are not hopeless. I lost her first child. I'm not about to lose this one. I don't want you to have this child because of me. You say Sonny's egotistical. We don't need a child to keep us together, Crowley. You, Michael, and Morgan are plenty of family for me. I mean, we could adopt a little girl. Right? You don't have to risk your life. That's why I didn't want to tell you about this stupid ZBT. I knew you'd react this way. And you know what? Carrying this little baby, carrying our baby, it's my risk to take, and I'm going to take it. Would you mind coming back? We're a little busy right no, now. No, no, we're fine. Come in. Hi, Mrs. C. Uh, Mrs. J. And Mr. Jax, hello to you too. Well? Uh, well, uh, Mr. C sent us to guard you through the duration of your lust event. You know, we have to straighten this out before Sonny gets back. What's wrong? You need some more water? No. I'm not going to spend the next nine months with you staring at me every time something goes wrong, you accusing me. Claudia, go upstairs. 
Whatever he told you, so whatever he said. I need says, to have a private conversation with him. So just go, 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 go. Song Curry by Paul Beckman, Paul the Weaver song, kill it. created April 28th, 2009. Yeah. You know, and you didn't tell me. So she asked me not to say anything to anybody. It's not Using important the guitar for me to know that the mother of my sons could die in my second. Yeah, I thought F she major should seven on me. You know, if she carries this baby to term, the song's there's a 50 50 chance that she's not going to live through it. I understand that. You understand? It doesn't concern you. Of course tough. it concerns me. She made up her mind, so you step wait. up here. Because you need to talk Carly into saving her own life. What did this guy create? They're human bite marks. to do 